What is up guys, welcome back to another video of Windows Crow. Today I haven't made a video in a long time. So, today we're going to be looking at the comment that says to delete a file, one file that will completely ruin Windows, and he says the kernel file will not work. Well, first off, we're going to test if the kernel file does not work, and then we're going to look at some other files. So, first off, we're going to go to the File Explorer and go to the C drive. In the C drive, we're going to go to Windows, and we're going to go to System32 because that is the most critical files. Now we're in System32, we're going to make sure that we can view hidden items. Alright, so here is the file. I'm going to try and delete it, but unfortunately, I cannot delete it because Trust Installer c takes uh, ownership of the file. So we're going to go to the properties of the file and change the ownership to me. We are going to put our name. Now, you see this file, now we're able to delete it. It's gone. Surprisingly, nothing happened to the regular service, but that's because kernel is what boots the Windows Explorer and everything that starts at Windows. So we're going to restart the computer currently, and we're going to see if that changed anything. As VirtualBox is loading, we can see that it's preparing an automatic repair due to the f one file we deleted. So the comment said that it would not work deleting the kernel file. We're going to check that right now. As we can see, it is diagnosing our PC. So Windows just attempted a repair and now it rebooted and what is going to happen? We are going to view what is happening to our virtual machine right now. And look, it just loaded perfectly fine. So therefore, booting up the computer found out it can just repair the file. Probably using a more high security file or another file that runs the kernel. What runs the kernel is the winload.exe file, which I just thought of right now. So, we're going to go to Windows, we are going to go to System32, and we are going to search the winload.exe file. Here it is. It's an application. Now that we have full control, we're going to delete the file. We're going to continue. The file's gone. Let's refresh. Let's delete the second one. Continue. And it's gone. We can refresh, win load, not here. Therefore, let's restart the computer. There's no visible changes right here, so let's restart the computer and see what happened. As VirtualBox is loading, we can view that it is preparing an automatic repair once again, just like it did with the kernel file, but we're gonna see exactly what it's going to do next. As we can see, it says it's diagnosing our PC and going to see if it can repair our PC for the broken files that we have created. And it looks like it worked because Windows looks like it's booting perfectly fine. And we're loading into our account perfectly fine. Let's see if there's any changes. Yep, everything's fine. Perfect. Just like brand new. Now, there is another file, the hall.dll file, which is a critical and very needed file, or a DLL file for Windows startup. So, we're going to search hall.dll, and it's right here. So again, we're going to have to change the owner, so I'll do that real quick. Now that we have access to hall.dll, we're going to delete the file, continue with administrative purposes, and the file is gone. Now that the file is gone, no visible changes, once again, we are going to restart our computer again, and we are going to view if there's any horrible changes. Again, it is preparing automatic repair like it did for the other two files for the wind load, the kernel. And look at that. It's diagnosing our PC once again, and it's attempting repairs. Therefore, we might be able to load up into Windows once again. Yep, it looks like it's Windows is booting perfectly fine. Now that doesn't work, there's one last file that is really critical. That literally is the first thing that starts up Windows. It is the boot manager file, which loads winload.exe, which is what we deleted. To get to the boot manager file, we cannot access it from the C drive. As you can see, we only have our virtual box editions and our C drive. So how would you get this, you may ask? So we could just go to the search button down here and search create and format hard disk partitions. As we can go here, there is a system reserved file right here. This has all of the critical system files. We are going to assign a drive letter so we can view it in Windows Explorer. Let's, we're just going to assign it. Let's assign a letter I. Okay. It is done. Close that. Close this. Head back to File Explorer. Here's System Reserved. We have found the folder. 
it says the folder is empty again. But because this is a super critical file that we are looking at, we have to enable some critical things. Because we have to view these critical files, we have to go to view, options, change folder and search options, and we're going to have to go to view, show hidden files, folders, and drives, make sure that things checked, and hide protective operating system files. We need to uncheck that. Apply. Click OK. Now we're going to go on our system reserved. Now there's files here. We have our boot manager file, which is what runs the computer. We also have our boot file, which is a bunch of files that I don't really want to go through. What we're all we're going to do is delete the boot manager. It's only 400 kilobytes. Now we just gave ourselves permission to delete the file. We're going to go here, delete, and it's gone. So we d all we deleted was the boot manager file. No noticeable difference right here, but we have to start up Windows first. We're going to restart our computer and see what happens. As Windows is loading, we can see that not Windows didn't even load. An operating system wasn't found. Try disconnecting any drives that don't contain an operating system. Okay, well, we're stuck on the screen. Windows is destroyed. Well, the files are still there. The only thing is that boot manager isn't there, which means that we can somehow put the folder back on using a repair drive from Windows or any other features. But right now, it's not accessible. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And yes, all you have to do is delete the boot manager file from windows to fully destroy it and it's only one file so thank you for leaving that comment hope you enjoyed and let the crow fly away